quick uh, video today. Thanks uh, everyone for the positive feedback. I, uh, I thought it would be a great idea actually to throw it out to you and uh, give you a choice on what video I look at next. I've got a, a growing list of companies that I want to take a look at and so what I want to do today is uh, there's going to be an embedded poll in this video on the next slide that asks you which of four videos you want me to look at next. Uh, so here we go. Here's four that are kind of high on my uh, radar right now. The first is Premium Brands, uh, which is a consolidator of specialty branded food businesses, protein, think pork, um, deli meats, and seafood. CPP uh, recently made a, a major investment or, or uh, a reasonably large investment earlier this year. There's a 2.5% dividend and a track record of growth through acquisition. So I thought that might be an interesting story to take a look at. The second is Brookfield. I had a question from uh, one of the viewers around the unrealized carried interest and implication for valuation at Brookfield. And as I was replying to that question, I actually thought that might be a good idea for a video to go in and do my best to explain that piece of the business um, and implications for how you, that would affect valuation at the Brookfield or BAM level. Number three is RBC. Uh, again, uh, when I did the Scotiabank video, I had uh, had some feedback uh, and, and requests to look at some of the other Canadian banks and hadn't gotten around to it yet. So RBC is Canada's largest bank, 4% dividend yield, 12 times price to earnings. In some ways, it's going to be similar to the Scotiabank story, but it's also going to be different in a few others. Um, so that's the third option. And then lastly, one that's kind of uh, piqued my interest lately, American Tower. It's a U.S. REIT, uh, but not doesn't own bricks and mortar. It's focused on wireless tower infrastructure, so benefiting from the tailwinds in increased data and mobile usage, and the advent of 5G might be a catalyst uh, for the stock. It's a 2% yield with a $90 billion market cap. So again, those are the four options, and if I do this right, you should be seeing a poll right now. Let me know which video you want me to do next. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.